it's Kathy. This is a follow-up to the 20-day uh, video uh, post uh, large incision PLIF uh, surgery uh, that I did uh, a few weeks ago. I had wanted to wait until I was uh, feeling better before I did another video and that point is here. I'm happy to say uh, so, I uh, made some notes on the, uh, here at the six and a half or so week point. i um, not going to reiterate anything from the previous video, but for today, um, for those of you who may have recently undergone this surgery, I uh, hope this helps. Uh, number one, it is possible that you may go into this uh, surgery with the expectation of being especially tough and recovering very quickly. Don't be disappointed in yourself and don't lose faith in your surgery if this turns out not to be the case. I did experience um, a really appreciable improvement at around the six six week point and I'm told that others have experienced the same thing and that there is another ramp up in uh, energy level and ramp down in pain level at about the three month point so if you're three weeks out and you're not feeling well it's okay that's I think that's normal and uh, you're gonna be fine and just hang in there uh, things will get better they really will you, you you know, I, I in particular uh, sort of expected myself to be a super superhuman in some way and to recover from this uh, very quickly. I gave it two weeks. I don't know. I uh, don't know what I was thinking. That was pretty unreasonable. So um, set aside your preoperative uh, fantasies about how. Uh, fabulously you may defy the odds and just uh, take care take real take really good care of yourself um, eat well eat right uh, get all the rest you need uh, get uh, get do exactly what your surgeon tells you to do um, normally typically typically they tell you just walk as much as possible walk 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 you're you may not you may find that you don't think you can walk or that you don't want to walk. Um, I think that once you get out there and and get moving, uh, take you know take, don't take big strides, take small steps. But it, the walking helps. It truly does. It truly helps. You're not going to want to do it, but it helps. Um, for me, it was easier to walk than it was to just stand around or to sit up straight. Uh, so if you're having um, having trouble or difficulty just just standing, just mulling around the house, just you know making a cup of coffee, or if you're having trouble sitting up straight in a chair, uh, don't let that get into your head and tell you that you're, you're not able to walk because the walking is actually easier. Um, so you have to put in that effort. Um, uh, the next thing I wanted to say was that um, the pain that you have uh, early on after the surgery may scare you and that is normal. It is a painful surgery um, at times in the first one to four weeks and that it, it is it is relentless it is disabling it seems disabling but it it goes away it truly does um, it's hard uh, on a day-to-day -day basis to compare today to yesterday as far as pain levels, but if you will just um, will just accept the fact that you've had a, a big surgery and 
rather than comparing today to yesterday, look at now and then look at a week ago or look at now and look at two weeks ago. You'll find that you feel better. And again, at this uh, six and a half week point, uh, post-operatively, I feel, I feel so much better. It's just amazing. So just hang in there. It's going to get better. You might want to have some, um, uh, some stuff uh, in your home preoperatively, just already there for constipation. You might want to have stool softeners. You might want to have some magnesium citrate because you are going to have, be on pain meds. They're probably going to have you on muscle relaxers too because your whole uh, back um, will go into a sort of a spasm. But uh, it's going to make you constipated if you take it and you're going to pretty much have to take it. So have some relief for that. Take some stool softeners if you can. Magnesium citrate if you get in, in a big, uh, super bad bind. Uh, will have you in the bathroom for half a day, but but it will take care of the problem. Um, oh, okay, the next thing on the list, you may have some weight fluctuations, <laughs> um, for sure. I gained 15 pounds between February 4th and February 7th. My surgery was on February 6th. Um, I'm assuming most of this was swelling and, and then just the IV fluids. Uh, they give you a lot of fluids and then I had uh, swelling pretty much from the middle of my back all the way almost down to my knees. Um, and nothing that I had, uh, nothing that I was able to wear on February 4th could I wear on September. On the seventh, um, all my clothes were too small. Three days later, it uh, it goes down. <laughs> uh, it it, de it definitely goes down. You, you really though almost won't recognize your torso. Uh, your whole body is just this sort of blob of edema. Um, uh, but for me, uh, after seven to ten days or so the swelling had gone down and uh, ten pounds of the 15 had come off I'm assuming the other five um, is fat <laughs> uh, and just due to immobilization um, you really can't move you can't really move much or do anything so if you're eating the same amount, you're, you're bound to gain weight. And uh, once you start moving, knock on wood, fingers crossed, hopefully that comes off. I'm working on, that's my, that's my goal right now is to lose that other five and to get in a little bit better cardiovascular shape now that I feel like I have the energy for it and the, um, and the pain is down. Um, so finally, just, just the best advice that I can give on this surgery is um, rest. Rest well. Take naps when you need them. Uh, eat, eat, eat good foods. Eat, you know, eat, eat well. Um, walk as much as possible. Do everything that your surgeon tells you. Um, for me, aqua therapy has has made a huge difference. Uh, but you'll have to ask your physician about that. Uh, don't feel guilty about feeling bad. You've had a big surgery. Um, and expect all the best medical care from all your providers. Ask for and, and expect it because you deserve it. So I'm wishing you the best. And um, we'll try to do like maybe a three-month update.